Welcome graduates and honored guests to the Mount Elizabeth graduation ceremony of 2021. We would like to call Mrs. Burley Nelson, our Heisla elder, to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and graduates, I'm honored and grateful to have been invited to your graduation, your special day, a momentous milestone in the journey we call life, something you worked hard for, dreamed of, and needed as a springboard propelling you into your future. This year's theme, use your voice, speak the truth. You might ask yourself, well, what do I say? Is there a manual or how do I prepare myself? Listen to what a young mother and Tyler wrote. I remember leaving the hospital thinking, wait, are they going to let me just walk off with him? I don't know beans about babies. I don't have a license to do this. We're just amateurs and folk. Well, babies have voices and they speak the truth. This is where education, experience, and listening to advice comes into play. Graduates, prepare yourself to achieve your life's goals. Pursue your education. Find and pursue your passion. Go back to the starting block if you have to. Make a positive difference in this world. Use your voice. Maybe not today, but opportunity often presents itself. Can you imagine your voice being heard behind the cure for cancer? Can you imagine your voice behind the child with a learning challenge? Can you imagine that child enjoying school and making progress? Can you imagine your voice behind the wheel of a school bus redirecting action away from discrimination? Sometimes, greatness comes from a collection of voices. Let the fear of the COVID virus calm by the hundreds of voices of the people behind the vaccination effort. Sometimes, Greatness takes decades, and I'll use my family as an example. I remember my oldest brother, Robert, graduated from this high school in the 1960s. He went to school in Vancouver to get his degree in um, accounting. And I remember he came home, and he had um, his computer information stacked on, he punched into cards that were about like that, and they were stacked so high you probably could find them in museums now. You could probably find this in museums too. When I went to university, we floppy this. Boy, was it a chore even to find the proper program to type in your name. That was a challenge too. Now, um, volumes of books can be stored on a tiny, tiny, tiny little device. Graduates, use your voice. Develop new ideas new approaches to older problems or inventions. Don't be afraid to take calculated risks because they often open doors of opportunity. No matter how small the voice of, the other, of others, listen and treat them with respect. Your loudest voice might be a, a silent, might be silent, like a gentle touch on the shoulder of your grieving friend. Be careful how you use your words, how you use your voice, because spoken words are like feathers released in the wind. Once released, you can never collect them all back. In closing, graduates, take care of yourself, your emotions, 
your physical, mental, and your spiritual health. This is our territory, Chaisu territory. We have lived here since the trees were that tall. We are a matrilineal based system. My mom's brother, Tsasi, my uncle Sammy Robinson is a hereditary chief of the Chaisla nation. My mother was the matriarch of the Chaisla people, just like her mother and her mother's mother and many generations before her. It is through this lineage that I get my authority to welcome each of you to our Chaisla territory to welcome you to the 2021 graduating ceremony. What? I forgot to tell you, even my dog has a voice. He barks once when he needs to tinkle, twice when he needs to do serious business. He licks his lips on the front when he wants a drink, and he licks his arms through his eyeballs when he wants to eat. So no matter how you express your voice, it's yours treasure it, use it, develop it, and go and do good for the world. We need a lot of people, good people, and I trust you're going to be those. Thank you. We would now like to call Emily Kravis class valedictorian to address her fellow graduates. Hey y'all. Congrats to you, the graduating class of 2021. Good afternoon, grads. So, I'm supposed to talk to you about the future, to inspire you and all that. Even though I'm in the same boat as you, I don't know the logic behind it, but here it goes. Also, if it seems like I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm just extremely nervous. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, mom's spaghetti. Eminem said, or wrapped, one of those two. I hope, no I know, that I'm not alone in this, being nervous. This is going to sound cliche, but our whole lives are ahead of us. This is only the beginning. Knowing this, it's absolutely normal to feel butterflies in your stomach, wavering in your voice, maybe even a stutter. Nervousness is your body being fearful of something that could, but might not necessarily happen. Fearful of failure. I don't know about you guys, but I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I'm still terrified though. Terrified for the future. The future. It's such a simple word, yet oh so scary. So full of mystery. What will happen to us? What will we achieve? Who will we become? Will we be remembered as much as a certain pear that was thrown through a certain window? <laughs> All great questions, but you won't know the answer to any of them if you're too afraid to try, too afraid of failure. A small disclaimer, I am not by any means encouraging you to throw any fruit through any windows in any buildings. Back to the point. Do not be afraid to fail, for if you do not try, you will never know what you are capable of. The harsh reality is that failure is vital in achieving the great things that we know we can and that I know you all can. Failure is inevitable, but it doesn't have to define you. It can help to refine you. Remember that science quiz that you failed back in grade 10, grade 11, grade 12? It probably felt like the worst possible failure at that time, but in reality, as you're sitting here right now, it's a distant memory, nothing more. 
On that note, I would like to thank Ms. Knott's Physics 11 and 12 for making me study like I have never studied before. I definitely would not be here today without those failed quizzes and the um, less than adequate test marks. Failure is not an end point, not an abrupt end. It's an opportunity to change, an opportunity for a new beginning. As Jacob Sartorius said in his hit song titled Sweatshirt, this may be the start of something new. Failure provides us with chances to learn, to change, and to do better. What we need to do is take the chances that failure gives to us. A quote from Deborah Maga, the only real failure is the failure to try. Starting off with another quote. Steve Harvey said that failure is a great teacher. While very true, do not only think about these failures. Don't dwell on it. Don't let it consume you. Take what you've learned from the experience, use what it has taught you, and push forwards. Strive for success. Just keep on moving. Keep on learning. Speaking of learning, we've learned so much about ourselves over our time at MEMS, and even just throughout our lives in general. We've helped each other grow and be shaped into the people we are today. You are so different from the person you were when you stepped into this school. Whether that be in grade seven, in grade 10, or even this year, we've all been huge influences to our classmates around us. We've learned that we're all very different people with different struggles, different successes, and different things we might want to improve on. We've also learned that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, so that's helpful. I think. Take that, that knowledge, accept the challenge that failure brought to us, and continue on. So to recap, let's say we have a backpack of items we move forwards with. A little Ziploc bag of failure, a Tupperware container full of knowledge, and maybe a full cooler's worth of nervousness. While not all of these seem to be very helpful, failure. They are absolutely vital for success. If you're going to take away something from this speech, let it be this. Embrace your failures and make something new of it. Embrace your nervous stutter. Embrace the waver in your voice. Embrace those butterflies in your stomach. And go on. Go further. Whatever you do, just keep on moving forward. You have been kind to each other, and I really hope you continue to stay in touch with each other. We are really going to miss the class of 2021. We will miss your giggles and your expressive ways, your humor, your energy, and your playfulness. You made us laugh and enjoy coming to work every single day. Even during a global pandemic, you kept such a resilient and positive attitude. I will miss squirting you with hand sanitizer upon entering the grade 12 doors. I will miss our chats and our check-ins. Your teachers will miss you too. You have made an impact here at Mount Elizabeth. Each of you has your own talent, your own inner light, your own unique gifts. As you journey on, take all of those with you. Embrace the highest vision you have for yourself. Fill your soul with love and live your truth. Be kind, be a good listener, laugh often and love hard.
trust the journey, and trust its path. Howard Thurman, an American author and educator, once said, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who come alive. If you are willing to dig deep, get back up when you fall, work very hard, take responsibility for your actions, and have hope and love in your heart, you will be more than okay. Whatever is ahead of you, want it more than you fear it. Congratulations to each and every single one of you on this remarkable milestone. We are all very proud of you. It is with your commitment to personal growth, a resiliency to be proud of, and with the unwavering support of your friends and families that you are here and we are celebrating each of you. You have made your mark here at Mount Elizabeth, and today marks the end of this journey and a beautiful beginning of what is next to come. Congratulations. Many of them I've taught at Caldala St. Anthony's Ornichaco, so there's a personal connection I have with these little guys that aren't so little anymore. Um, so what will happen now is I will introduce Andrea Van Horn and Rachel Briggs. Lucas is most excited to have fun this summer and to have a great time with his friends before they leave. Lucas's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he and his class had a football draft in the gym. Lucas will miss making memories with his friends the most. Lucas aspires to be the best person he could possibly be. Lucas's advice to future graduates is to enjoy your time here because it will be over fast. Leah Gonzalez. Aaliyah is most excited to pursue her schooling at UVic and cannot wait to move away and live on Vancouver Island. Aaliyah's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is her grad banquet celebration. She will miss spending time with her class the most. Aaliyah aspires to complete a bachelor's degree in kinesiology and become a physiotherapist. She also dreams to skate for Disney on Ice. Aaliyah's advice to future graduates is to make sure you're living and not just surviving.
Jacob is most excited to graduate and cannot wait for graduation. Jacob will miss the boys the most. Jacob aspires to get a job. Jacob's advice for future graduates is to graduate. <laughs> Olivia Feldoff. <laughs> Olivia is most excited to attend the University of Victoria in the fall and study biology. She cannot wait to live in a bigger city. Olivia's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when school went online last year and she didn't have to write four grade 11 exams. Olivia will miss the delicious garlic wedges from the cafeteria the most. Olivia aspires to continue to be the mom of the friend group and hopes to one day work abroad in Europe. Olivia's advice to future graduates is to work hard, have fun, and to be kind. graduates is to try your hardest at lunch. Lakayla <laughs> Franklin. Lakayla is most excited to take on the next chapter of her life and cannot wait for summer. Lakayla's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is Frosh Week in grade 7, and she will miss her friends the most. Lakayla aspires to be healthy and have a happy family in the future. Lakayla's advice to future graduates is to participate in every activity and hang out as much as possible. Emily aspires to be successful and to have fun. 
Emily's advice to future graduates is to work hard and try your best. And don't forget to have fun along the way. Travis Chang. Travis is most excited to move back to Vancouver Island and cannot wait to skate with his friends again. Travis's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is playing dodgeball in PE and he will miss Jim the most. Travis aspires to become a Red Seal welder and move to a house near the beach in Tofino. Travis's advice to future graduates is to do what you love. Emily McConnell. Emily is most excited to move to Victoria, and she cannot wait for university. Emily's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when we would go hiking with Mrs. Dollar, and she will miss her friends the most. Emily aspires to become an archaeologist. Emily's advice to future graduates is to go to class. Seriously, not joking. excited to go around the world to play volleyball and cannot wait for more memories to come. Trent's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he and all the graduates went when he and all the graduates went to prom together and he will miss them the most. Trent aspires to excel in volleyball and be the coach for the MEMS volleyball, in other words, to take over Miss Dobbin's position. Trent's advice to future graduates is we don't need the memories live for today. Emily Johnson. Emily is most excited to travel as much as possible and to explore abandoned historic places around Canada and she cannot wait for graduation and a year of no school. Emily will miss the art room at MEMS the most. Emily aspires to become a child art therapist to help children express their feelings of anger or pain. Emily's advice to future graduates is to just have fun, show up, and do the things you have been scared to do.
travel around the world and cannot wait for COVID to be over. Diana's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when everyone would sprint out of class at recess to go to Tim Hortons. She will miss having all her friends being together the most. Diana aspires to be healthy and wealthy. Diana's advice to future graduates is to never eat during a live bacteria lab. Dominic Schmidt. Dominic is most excited to move out of Kitimat and go to college and cannot wait for new opportunities that are available. Dominic's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when a pair got thrown through the window and will miss all of his friends the most. Dominic aspires to be a successful person. Dominic's advice to future graduates is to not stress about graduating because there are plenty of opportunities. Welcome to Group 2's graduation ceremony. Graduates, please enter. Taylor and Mark. Taylor is most excited to travel the world and cannot wait to watch her friends prosper in the future. Taylor's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when she was the bad teacher's assistant in PE 11-12 class and how Mr. Guizzo made it his life's mission for us to remember the year 1066 in grade 8 social studies. Taylor will miss Mrs. Dobbin the most. Taylor's advice to future graduates is to be a gnarly dude and go with the flow, even when the waters get rough. Jared Way Chesson. Jared is most excited to finish college and cannot wait for someone to ask him about his destiny or more. Jared's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is grade 9 gym class, and he will miss gym classes with Mrs. Dobbin the most. Jared aspires to acquire his red seal. Jared's advice to future graduates is to be aware of Mrs. Dobbin. <laughs> Zoe Harker. Woo! 
Zoe is most excited to graduate from high school and cannot wait for her adult life to begin. Zoe's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when she got her Mini Cooper stuck in the snow and had to get the whole grade 12 class to help. Zoe will miss her fun experiences the most. Zoe's advice to future graduates is study for tests. Jaden Walker. Jaden is most excited to sleep in every single weekday and cannot wait for the opportunity to play football in Kelowna. Jaden's favorite, favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he and his grad class had their banquet and prom. Jaden will miss being Mrs. Dobbins' favorite student the most. <laughs> Jaden aspires to be in the NFL. Jaden's advice to future graduates is simple. Graduate. <laughs> Bethany K. Berry. <laughs> Bethany is most excited to gain new independence by moving away and cannot wait for university. Bethany's favorite memory from her time at MEMS was grade 10 English with Mr. Whitmill, and we will all miss her friends and the amazing staff the most. Bethany aspires to be a registered nurse while also continuing to produce music. Bethany's advice to future graduates is life rarely turns out how you want, so always have a plan B and maybe C and D too, just in case. Madison Sommerfeld. Madison is most excited to be able to move down to Victoria and pursue her career as a paramedic and cannot wait for new opportunities in life. Madison's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when she was able to meet all of her close friends in the high school and will miss seeing her friends at school every day the most. Madison aspires to be successful and happy in her future. Madison's advice to future graduates is to enjoy every moment because everything happens so fast. Hayden Klein. Hayden is most excited to see places outside of Kitimat and cannot wait to meet new people. Hayden's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he and his friends hosted a football draft in the gym and he will miss his friends the most. Hayden aspires to become the best, best version of himself. Hayden's advice to future graduates is to try new things and to be motivated to do things you would not normally do.
decided to leave Kitimat and cannot wait for life in Kelowna. Emily's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when Olivia ripped her jeans while doing the splits, and she will miss having all of her friends together the most. Emily aspires to escape the clutches of student debt. Emily's advice to future graduates is to never miss band class. Katia Marceau. Katia is most excited to leave Kitimat and cannot wait to meet new people. Katia's favorite memory from their time at MEMS is grade 9 photography class and will miss the friends, their friends the most. Katia aspires to be able to pursue both psychology and art and make lots of money. Katia's advice to future graduates is to get a tab at the cafeteria and pay it. <laughs> to obtain a teaching certificate so he can teach socials in high school. As well, he would like to have opportunities to play professional football. Connor's advice to future graduates is appreciate the little things in life and try not to stress about school so much. School is more than just grades and there are people you school is more than just grades and there are people who have it worse than you. Take your time. Striker. Iris is most excited to leave Kitimat and go to university and cannot wait for warmer weather in Kelowna. Iris's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is Miss Knott's drop rocks in physics and will miss seeing her friends every day. Iris aspires to be successful and happy with whatever she does in life. Iris's advice to future graduates is don't take classes you don't need and just five. Ethan Malloy. for future graduates is, you guessed it, enjoy the celebrations. Aviana Rice.
Aviana is most excited to move to Kelowna for school and cannot wait to become a welder or a fabricator. Aviana's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is English 12 and she will miss Mr. Dollar's shop class the most. Aviana aspires to start a solo business with fabrication. Aviana's advice to future graduates is to live it up. Isabel Moretti. Isabel is most excited to begin her future at UVic and move out of Kidamer. Isabel's favorite memories from her time at MEMS are when Miss Snot completed physics demonstrations with rocks, and when Mr. Horianopoulos shared music history, and will miss her wonderful teachers and peers the most. Isabel aspires to become a prof Isabel ex Isabel aspires to become a successful businesswoman with a massive property full of animals and who is very happy and content in life. Isabel's advice to future graduates is to slow down and not stress because time will heal everything. Jake Thornton. Jake is most excited to make money and celebrate. Jake's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is skipping class to go to the shop and he will miss Mr. Dollar the most. Jake's advice to future graduates is to skip first block and sleep while you can. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, group two of the class of 2021. Welcome to group three's graduation ceremony. Graduates, please enter. Donna Pangan. to enjoy summer before starting post-secondary classes and cannot wait for a new adventure in life. Donna's favorite memory from her time at MEMS was meeting lots of great people when she first moved to Kitimat and started at Mount Elizabeth. Donna will miss all of the amazing and hardworking teachers the most. Donna aspires to go into healthcare and become a nurse. 
Donna's advice to future graduates is to enjoy your last moments in high school. George Pangan. George is most excited to visit Saskatchewan. George's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he brought his pillow to school and he will miss mechatronics the most. George aspires to become a video game designer. George's advice to future graduates is to have fun while it lasts. Anchor is most excited to leave Kitimat and explore new places and cannot wait for this to be over. Anchor's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he had an embarrassing moment with his pants. Anchor will miss all of his friends and teachers the most. He aspires to become a nurse and help others. Anchor's advice to future graduates is to give in to peer pressure. Larby is most excited to go to college, and he cannot wait to forget about Anchor Patel and Evan Sousa. <laughs> Larby's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when Anchor had his embarrassing moment with his pants, and when he told Evan Sousa he stinks. Larby will miss his homies. Larby aspires to become a police officer and Nene. Larby's. <laughs> Larby's advice to future graduates is you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Noemi Rondo. Noemi is most excited to move on, have fun this summer, and start a new chapter, and cannot wait to celebrate. Noemi's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when she decided to come out of her shell and be the real Noemi and will miss PE class the most. Noemi's advice to future graduates is to make a lot of memories because the last year goes so fast. Ashley Pierce. Ashley is most excited to move out of Kitimat. She hopes to relocate to Vancouver next year. Ashley's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when she attended the grad banquet with her fellow classmates and will miss Mrs. Bird the most. Ashley aspires to be a nurse so that she can help others. Ashley's advice to future graduates is to attend school regularly so that you can get the best out of your school experience.
Maggie Russell. Maggie is most excited to move to Vancouver with her best friend and cannot wait for city adventures. Maggie's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when Mr. Stryker would call them nerds in the hallway and she will miss her friends the most. Maggie aspires to be happy and successful. Maggie's advice to future graduates is don't skip class and don't do your homework the night before it's due. Van Horn. excited to get out of high school and into the real world and he cannot wait for the party to get started. <laughs> Alex's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he would go on basketball trips and he will miss playing basketball the most. Alex aspires to find a job he will enjoy. Ocean Sherman. Ocean is most excited to go to the gym in the mornings and cannot wait for college. Ocean's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is finishing the French Immersion Program and will miss her fellow graduates the most. Ocean aspires to become a personal trainer, open her own gym, and design her own fitness clothing line. Ocean's advice to future graduates is to wing it at tests because it worked for her, but more seriously, try everything once. Matthew Tremblay. Matthew is most excited to attend college in the fall and cannot wait for summer break to start. Matthew aspires to become a doctor. Matthew's advice to future graduates is to pursue Matthew's advice to future graduates is to pursue your dreams no matter the cost. Evan Sousa. Evan is most excited to pursue a career in education and cannot wait for the grad celebration. Evan's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when he was an English 12 and will miss all of his friends the most. Evan aspires to be a teacher. Evan's advice to future graduates is to enjoy it while it lasts. Carmen Walsh.
most excited to go back to Nova Scotia and cannot wait to start work at LNG. Carmen's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is when she met everyone and she will miss all the friends she has made the most. Carmen aspires to be healthy and successful. Carmen's advice to future graduates is to do what makes you happy. McKenna Stevens. McKenna is most excited to be done high school and cannot wait for COVID to go away, even though it might not. McKenna's favorite memory from her time at MEMS is Mr. Stryker yelling at them in basketball superfit. And she will miss Miss Dobbins' PE class and seeing friends every day the most. McKenna aspires to lead a happy and successful life. McKenna's advice to future graduates is don't take classes you don't need. Aiden Dumont. to join the military. Aiden's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is when Anchor gave his speech at the banquet and he will miss seeing the boys the most. Aiden aspires to achieve his goal, which is to join the Special Forces. Stephen Grant. Stephen is most excited to stay home and cannot wait to sleep all day. <laughs> Stephen's favorite memory from his time at MEMS is recycling with the life skills class and will miss everybody in Miss Tavener's class the most. Stephen aspires to become a, a chef or an artist. Stephen's advice to future graduates is to never stop dreaming. Ladies and gentlemen, group three of the class of 2021.